everyone, it's good to be back. Pliskin, this one's for you. Hello there, everyone. My name is Zayred. And it's about time I kept a promise I made, and I wanted to make sure this would be the next playthrough I did after MK4. I mean, MK4, but MK9. I did my best to make that possible, and I do apologize that this takes a, that took a lot longer than I originally was hoping for, and even wanted it to, to to take. And I do deeply and wholeheartedly apologize for that. But now it's time for us to finally begin with what I might consider to be one of the a game that I'm I really do love, but I really do suck at. So I do apologize for my playing skills. Cause I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna see a lot of failure in this thing. And let me put it this way. That's not the fault of the game at all. Every single failure you see, I will take full responsibility for because about every single one you see, that's all me. It's not the game doing something stupid, that's me doing something really stupid. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation oh, hey, special forces. Being led by members of Fox I, I, I honestly don't. I know that. Bo I know that voice sounds. They're doesn't. demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA chief Donald Anderson <clears throat> and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan <laughs> Raven, a giant and shaman. shaman. I'm sorry, I, I'm never gonna that out of my head. Ocelot, that's just my mean. So I'm actually release a new a album, and they do have this um, and find simple plot of Kingdom Hearts, so you can see. Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake, the man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Except for me, your medic, I mean, um, sorry, wrong Metal Gear game. Except for me, the medic, I mean, I'm sorry, once again. Except for me, the one with Major Kodak, the one with the guns. Actually, no, that's actually it for official support. Ah, finally, it's time for Metal Gear Solid Tactical Espionage Action. And here's the hoping that this time it actually goes correctly. I've tried about three different times, but I would like to start off by doing this options menu. It's plain and simple. Briefing. Briefing is going to let you see some videos basically letting you know how they capture Snake because they did capture him. Special. This is basically a bri another briefing. This will brief you on the events of the MSX games, Metal Gear so ah, sorry, Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2. BR training. Technically that's canon. I said it because Raiden actually did go through VR training to become the soldier he That's what we were led to believe originally, but I'll get on that one if I get to MGS2. All I can tell you is that v that and VR missions are secret are actually canon. Right, 
Okinawa. Stay alert. It'll be through here. I know it. Too bad for to slow down a couple of bothersome flies. Seriously. And sadly, that's also our only way up. <laughs> this is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's oh, the God, situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. That if means you if the elevator ever went down, these guys are kind of screwed. The frequency is 140.85. When and you now want we know to about one codec, of the most important codec the select button. codecs in the game. When we need to contact you. The, the other one, the one you really need to contact when is the second one we're going to be getting, I believe. Press the select button. Oops. The codex receiver directly oh, thank God stimulates didn't the small up. bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Alright, now then. And everyone, time to start. First things first, head straight down here. Grab your ration. Rations are ration can be used as health and also auto life. Uh, before I begin, I'm gonna talk about where I mean my experience with the oh, Lightning Burst series. Hmm. You're first. I just point this out the reason why I'm doing what I'm about to do is because, well, if I don't, then there's a if I don't do that, then they're gonna catch me. That plus, to be fair, this isn't like Metal Gear. This isn't like um, Metal Gear Solid 2, where or Twin Snakes, where people will pass out. I mean, we can actually not kill them. Because I feel like the big boss ranking is a more satisfying to earn in MGS2 than it ever is in MGS1. Don't get me wrong; they're both incredibly difficult, especially if you're one of those poor souls who actually did your beat stream. I wasn't going to get caught that fast. So the thing is, that's everyone down here until this elevator comes back. And now to wait. I gotta admit though, the other, the only messed up thing about me now knowing how to get past all that is that it leads to this actually taking a little while longer because I now know how to kill everyone. Also, I've gotten better with the timing it because for some reason I suck with them. Um, I suck in the past and trying to choke people out. But I promise you, I'll try to kill a lot less when we get to MGS2. Most because of the fact of the whole um whole thing they got in that game and MGS3 because I do feel like I want to one day get the big boss ranking on a difficulty with that. I know it's going to be impossible for me to do for a long, long time, but it's one of the things I really do want to try and make a reality at some point. You may live. <laughs> and now you can't do anything. I'm surprised there's no, I mean, um, things on there being like, who, okay, who called that back up? Now we get back to him. the one, the only, Solid Snake. My favorite protagonist in the series. I, you know what? He actually is my favorite. I like, don't get me wrong, I like Big Boss too. I like the Naked Snake and I like Raiden. But Snake is the only character in the Metal Gear series I believe progressively gets better and better and better with everything he gets involved with. 
when we get to stuff like Metal Gear Solid 5 and stuff like that, and, so, and Peace Walker and everything like that, which is made to basically fix all the stuff they, they did in 4, it's a bit of a, it's a bit different then. Snake is the only character in my opinion to get consistently better and better. Well, him and I think, I would like to say Otacon too, except, except for the fact that we're going to how they treat him. If you don't believe, you know what I'm talking about, we'll get to that later. If I remember. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit, says the living How's fossil. How's the suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm great. Oh yeah, this is if it also a suit. I'm your mad. shot. I would have turned into a popsicle out Don't there. Don't really like her. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the then again, there is a reason for that. Are using it. I see. I'm relieved and to you'll see why Already later on in the story. Out. By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? Nobody knows. I have no idea. Well, to be fair, you are but you are that far from Russia. Say we're someone from like Spain, Africa. Um, what else? Australia. Then I then that really actually makes sense. Heck, Antarctica would make more sense to say than that. hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. And here she Who's is, that? one of the most important people. Oh, sorry. One of the most important conversation in the entire you game. Two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. And I also do want she to apologize, but this game is well incredibly chatty, so if I don't system. talk, then Contact during this thing, I basically will about either of them. not be able to talk that much. I'll be able to talk <laughs> nice a good bit because snake. I do suck at this game, but... It's an but... honor to speak to mm. a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 Dang. hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Solitan radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Ooh. Snake, your also, radar isn't this, to me, by the weather, Mei Ling is one of the most by an enemy, adorable characters in this entire it. series. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. Yeah, like, out of just pure cute, she's like the most adorable to me, I don't know why. Harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. Well, Colonel's the only one who makes you really give me any advice. Contact me if you want Naomi to can be, your current status. Well, Colonel and Naomi, in my opinion, because he does say something that's going to save six. your tail in, the, it's in this game. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. 
Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. And I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? Jesus. How are those going to help you? You never know. Okay, here's the bad thing, though. That's actually important if you forget something that I'm going to show off. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the <laughs> left and one on the right. That'd be all. That'd be five, stupid, but be sixers, funny to see. Pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? That one is the um. There should I, also be a actually, Dave Man's getting there floor. on my first try. Sadly, during this thing, unfortunately, that footage is destroyed, and it's not it's not that difficult to get into. I can't see it from here. But I'm also upset because I that exact same one. He only know he just knows because I graced him. Like, what I'll was that noise? The best Looks down, and I was already in the hole. I'm counting on you, Snake. All right. Why can't I? Oh yeah, my apologies. My controller fell asleep during all that. All right, now then. All right, first up. Please go. Now. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, okay, good. <sighs> A surveillance camera. Thank God no one's near me to hear that. I ain't taking no chances. Oh God, I almost screwed up there. Okay, now that I got that. Here's the next thing you need to get. Okay, he's over there. Good. Behold, this is the reason why this one's so much easier to get into. This man is sleeping. Not now, Colonel! That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. I think it's just, this one's just been for people who are going to be the somewhere. first time playing. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, hmm. there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not going to believe this, but they shot down the F-16s oh, we were God. using as a diversion with a Hind D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. And at the end that of it, there was just a... <laughs> Also, some other crap about nano machines, genes, and other crap too. Nope. <laughs> I messed up there. I'm um, and I'm kind of and I've never actually I never have tried that twice. But here's where we're gonna need another. Here's where we're gonna need a, another one of our confidants. God, I sound like I'm playing Persona right there. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what do you I know, here? I think um, Miller was your informant during MGS. So I moved out here Ugh, sorry, not MGS. Metal Gear 2. Like we also do get to see a lot more of him in, the, the in MGS skills, 5 and MGS 4. And it, not, not, I mean, not for the Peace Walker. <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. 
Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan fields. Thankfully, that's automatically don't saved worry. for us. They can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow. And that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes, the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program. Carry on the legacy. If and there still are mice, us that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. Hmm. All right, thank you. And there's another easy way to know where you're going, because I'm sorry, my TV is way too dark. Yes, I'm going the right way now. There we go. This is the ultimate sign of how I'm going the right way because you have to pass by this to get out of here. Don't worry, little guys, I'm following you. I'm, I'm glad I have these guys here. Oh yeah, we're yeah we're on our way there. In fact, in MGS4, he actually does comment on the rats being in the, being in here, saying that yeah, I still got my little friends in here to help. Should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. I will as soon as I run. Cause that's the only other thing. There's only two. Oh, another interesting thing I should talk about. This is the only game in series I think where people will disappear. God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Run! I think I'm far enough for the one, baby. Yes, I am. Oh god, you can actually hear his heartbeat and everything when you're here. Oh no, 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 no. We're not going through that again. Turn your head. In case you're wondering why I'm going and making my way all the way back through here, there's actually a very simple explanation for that. Remember that thing I told you, I mean, reason why you had to get the SOCOM pistol? Before that thing goes off. Yes. This! The thermal goggles. Okay. I'm gonna say this real quick. You need the thermal goggles. You really, really, really do. Thermal goggles are a very important, a very 
I mean, in a very, very good item. I say this because, well, if you don't get them, you're kind of screwed. There's a section after we're done, after we, after we really don't need to be here for a while, that we will have to go through. And if you don't have this, you have to rely on your cigarettes. And the only problem is that the lights aren't as visible with the cigarettes as they are with, I mean, as they are with that. And now to go. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to come here that fast. I'm not even lying. I wasn't expecting that. All right. Now that we're here. Oh, what's that green dot? Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Alright, well, but first up, I keep on missing that one. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. <laughs> AK, just push the circle button. She'll be important. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. Hey, <laughs> Cape, what's the triangle button? Basically, what I did, this is the same thing I did with, um, when I just looked at her. Save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? Yes, Donald Anderson. Uh, Anderson. I'm code. I'm a code name. Sigurd. To save your worthless butt. No, I'm not kidding. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? <laughs> Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Mm. Is it possible? It's yes. Possible. They could launch a nuke. How did they plan Did she the really just now start listening to I this? This place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell oh, no, you, you know the bad thing is I'm not even the dumbest part of this entire okay. scene. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the earth. Hmm. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. Well, to be fair, no so far we've had to fight. I fought two of them myself. Had My father has apparently fought a ton of them. So that's the reason so they're not here that the secret. Site? 
Why else did I come to a godforsaken place like this? That's the, that might be the bad thing. The addition I of like certain other Metal games kind of make it like, how does the world not know about Metal Gears that much? How is not the conspiracy theorists, snitches, or just people who can run their mouths? We were going to use this exercise as raw data. Were they just that afraid of Big Boss and his magical eye patch? Because I will admit this much: so Big Boss has the Big Boss has the means to persuade people if easily. It hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution. <laughs> Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? No. You know, considering the fact if he can see through Okay, never mind, Snake was in the corner. But I thought that all nuclear warheads Wait a minute, were how is he not them? hearing Snake? Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, is Dante just talking now? Is, um, yes, Sigma there just talking there louder than Snake is? It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? <laughs> yes. Baker knows one, <coughs> and I know one. Sorry. Baker? The president of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? Hmm. One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. Uh, it could be it's worse. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. I have literally seen. I've literally seen. I literally have my friend father got covered in bees. They find out Baker's password. Yes. I've literally had my friend fight a ghost. Launch a nuke anytime. But that's not a joke a either. Wait until MGS3. What? The card game. Actually, MGS3 the is, despite being the best game, it kind of screws over the rest of the series when override. they try to explain it. Even without the, the reason passwords, for everything. you can just insert the card keys and engage Because it's like, okay, that works for everything else. And if I do that? But what about yes. three? That is way before you nanomachines are introduced. Five, five doesn't even... Five is the game that, pre that introduced their precursor, the so precursor where nanomachines. Are the keys? And that game's... Baker should and, have I'm sorry. It introduces this, the precursor you nanomachines. Need three card keys. And there even then, they're like this bug and not the same kind of thing you that we got in this. You need to a card into each one of them. Okay. Three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time hmm. to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? AKA is basically the, what we're looking Here, for is basically the equivalent this. of a it's wall that you can detonate in Zelda. It'll open any level one Kinda security. Funny, because that's actually what we're it's gonna do. A pan car. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Oh yeah, I would like to give props Personal to the creators for <laughs> realizing how annoying this was in Metal Gear 1 and 2 and not repeating the same mistake here because people hated it then and I kind of agree with them. One of the bad things in Metal Gear 1 and 2 involving cars and stuff like that was the fact of the matter being that you had one, you had a level 1 car, you had a level 2 car, 3 car, 4 car, it would keep building up and building up. But the cars themselves did not stack. Being that every single, meaning that your inventory would be filled with nothing but cars, you would be filled with a ton of cars. In this game, you, while you you still have to equip the card, no. it's not as bad because the cards sure stack. Meaning that if you have even if you have like a level no. ten card, like Some a level eight card, it'll immediately demands. it'll That's immediately let problem. you in. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? Rest in peace, Sigan.
Naomi, the chief, what happened? I, I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but- A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, you know the we don't have you know the worry and the fact that the shaking his voice Baker. kind of is messed up and letting him know about this whole thing. I mean, letting him know he's full of crap. Also, prepare for this epic beat down that we can't see. Hey, that's right. I don't need a ration. No, I do not. All right, now then. I won't stop until you let me out. I made the right choice. I could go all day. Don't move. <laughs> she even took the underwear. What is with her? So you killed the chief, you bastard. Or does Johnny just go commando? Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? <laughs> Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the That's safety off, rookie. Show. I told you I'm no Oop, rookie! Almost her name. You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! No, you don't. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. <laughs> I'm telling you, shoot! <laughs> and down they all go. Good job, Meryl. Gotta make it, gotta run back over here. I'm taking this. Good job, Meryl. I don't need that yet. But I do I think I need to get over here now. That's the first time I've actually not gotten hit by that, too. Thanks for the help. Wait! Pay attention to that, because that'll be real important later. I'm not Why? even joking. <laughs> I like um if you ever get the chance to there's a Metal Gear Solid Abridged series and it's really really good and I recommend you watch it. I like the line that's actually used there right there. It's um basically then says I have something I mean I have a I have a bizarre I have an idea but it might sound a bit bizarre. And then after that he goes What's so bizarre about that? I mean, I think he says, now what in the room with a super soldier clone, a Russian, I mean, a Russian cowboy, I mean, um, yeah, a Russian cowboy, and a guy, a guy who looks like a gimp, could you say that would be, I mean, be, be bizarre? You know, these those, wow, I really don't know my audience. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? 
It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. Huh, so that was Mantis. Yep. And everybody, this is where I'm going to actually end the part right now. But first, let's go back here and check and see if there's anything else. Oh, that's right, I have to let myself in. Hi, Johnny. God, I feel bad for you. Oh, yeah, in case you're wondering how I know his name, well, he didn't know find until MGS4, but that is actually Johnny. But that is actually the Johnny from MGS4. Apparently, his fam his family is a big part of Metal Gear to the point where you can actually see... I apologize for slurring up, I mean, for messing up my words a bit, but you actually do meet certain other members of his family, because apparently this, apparently his family is, is apparently, does have a huge military background. Well, I would like to be in the, or to get through this door. Six. You know, I'll go ahead and get us through this room, then I'm going to... I'll go ahead and get through this part, then I'll go ahead and... Then I thought... Can't go through that door. Some C4. Can't get in that door yet. I no, can't get in this one. Oh, yes, I can. Some grenades. Fantastic. What's in here? Some bullets that I obviously don't need. And a room I'll be able to get into pretty soon. Come out with the door I can't get into yet. Because it's level 4 access. Oh yeah, here's another way. Alright, next thing you gotta do is. Okay, here it is, C4. Set and then move back. I grabbed the wrong one, thank god I didn't let that off. This seems like a safe distance. Because I do know that an explosion from that close up would kill me. else here once again Okay, that's the boss battle. Okay, this is gonna have to wait, but... First things first... I'll show off this, chap. It disables all your elect disables electron electronics. And apparently gives me some C4. It actually does cause them to spread out of control a bit, or at least not be able to shoot you. But everybody, this is why I'm just going to leave off for right now. I would like to thank you all for watching and helping me get through this part. <laughs> this has been Zayred, everyone, and until next time.